Hi, I'm doing a follow-up video to show where the other bolt holes are if you're going to take your upholster out of a 205 Mastercraft hole. Uh, there's that backrest, so it looks like something like that wraps all the way around. This is the most difficult piece to recover, by the way. So we'll start over here on the starboard side. We've got these three here, one here, here, and here. Uh, for these two, I went through here with the where the ballast pump is. For this one over here, I found better luck getting up through this opening, but even there, it's really tight because as you can kind of see in there, you've got cables running here, uh, both your steering cable and different wires. Um, really for all these side panels, this has been the best tool I, I have for it. It's just a, a wrench, a ratchet wrench. Um, this one's on the short side, so if you're gonna get one, get a 7 16 and I'd get it a little longer. Um, just give you a little more leeway. So you've got those three, then you've got one up here uh, that you can get to from the storage compartment. Uh, once again, there's some wires you need to kind of move around, but not too bad overall. Then moving over here to the port side, another one right here on the top. And then you, you've got three more, just like the other side. Uh, for all of these, pretty easy access. Just go through the ski locker here, reach your arm through, through there, as always, Get long sleeves and gloves, otherwise you're going to be itching from the fiberglass for weeks to come. Um, another tip when you pull this out, since it's wedged in between these, these two, um, you want to be careful of these bolts on the side because they will scratch your, they will scratch up your uh, gel coat there. So take some little rubber stoppers if you have them, and once you take the bolts off, stick these rubber stoppers on there uh, for when you pull it off. And what I ended up doing is prying out one side gently, um, pulling it up and setting the edge up here on the rail so it wasn't rubbing. Then I moved over to the other side and was able to pull the rest of it out without scratching my gel coat. But you've really got to be careful with those bolts because they will scratch it. Uh, I think I scratched it there last time I put it in, so don't make the same mistake. Uh, the other thing a couple of people asked me about is the seat. Um, the seat's fairly straightforward. You've got the adjustment that will move it forward and backward. Ultimately, what you need to do is get to these Allen bolts. Um, you don't have much access, but it doesn't take much. You, you know, you should be able to get that Allen wrench in there. And so that should do it for your seat. 